Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Stephanie. We're marching on through the month of December, and now we're going to talk about some hidden gems in Taipei. And I suppose there are similar hidden gems all over Taiwan. We're talking about restored Japanese buildings. Of course, as you know, the Japanese were here in Taiwan for 50 years, and they left in 1945. But they left behind their legacy in terms of people who spoke fluent Japanese, who've all Kind of died off by now, and we've also got some of their structures which are still standing today. Yeah, I like some of the old buildings,、um, and I, I'm always kind of sad, Tom, when I go past a, an area that used to have some old buildings that have been torn down.、Mm. I love that stuff, and I love history, and it always makes me sad when we lose things that have great value to our past and our history. So it's kind of nice to talk about this. We're going to talk about a cluster of old-fashioned Japanese-style buildings that are being restored or that have been restored. I happened just to walk past this place months ago, and I thought, "Oh, I didn't know that was there. That's interesting." I didn't have time to stop, but it's something I want to get around to seeing someday. Okay, we'll talk about it in today's program. But first, we'll listen to our article read from top to bottom. As you're wandering around the lively Dongmen MRT station neighborhood in Taipei City. You may stumble upon a cluster of old-fashioned Japanese-style buildings. With their wooden frames, red brick walls, and peaceful gardens, they paint a beautiful scene and create a vivid contrast with their concrete neighbors. Easily accessible from the station, these buildings are a hidden treasure for history lovers and casual visitors alike. These elegant structures highlight Taiwan's rich and layered past. Constructed during the Japanese colonial period between 1895 and 1945, they initially functioned as residences for personnel of the nearby Taipei Prison. Following the end of World War II, they were transformed into accommodation for government officials, military officers, and civilians. However, the passage of time took its toll, and these historic buildings fell prey to neglect and decay. In response. The Taipei City Department of Cultural Affairs initiated the Old House Cultural Movement Plan in 2013. This is a comprehensive restoration project aimed at preserving these sites and boosting repair and reuse efficiency. Additionally, the result adds a touch of beauty to the urban landscape and provides cultural and creative groups with event spaces. Today, the restored buildings invite visitors to experience a slice of history. While participating in various leisure activities, among these buildings is the fascinating Rongjin Gorgeous Time Park. Here, visitors can immerse themselves in exhibitions that bring the past to life, sign up for DIY courses that spark creativity, and indulge in delicious food at on-site restaurants. Whether you're feasting on authentic Japanese cuisine or sipping relaxing afternoon tea, you're guaranteed a memorable experience. So next time you find yourself near Dongmen MRT Station, seize the opportunity to explore these pieces of cultural heritage and see for yourself how historic preservation meets modern adaptation. Okay, it's time for us to discuss the contents of our lesson for today. Again, the title is Taipei's Hidden Gems: Restored Japanese Buildings. And in this title, we have the word "gem,"、uh, which is basically like a jewel, something valuable. Yeah.、Uh, you could talk about gemstones, like、uh, a sapphire, a ruby, an emerald, a diamond. Those are gemstones. But if you talk about something that is really valuable, really unique, really special, you can call it a gem. And this is with the term "hidden gem." When we're traveling, of course, we're always trying to find those hidden gems that other people don't know about, so that we can see them and they can't. Yeah, I'll often use it to describe really great people I know that maybe、uh, a lot of other people are unaware of their great personality traits, their virtues. They're just good people, and I'll say, "Oh, she's a gem," or "He's a gem."、Uh, a lot of people are very quiet, and so unless you get to know them, you don't really know how great they are. So we're going to talk about Taipei's hidden gems, the one. Uh, the the area that people don't know about or aren't aware of, and those are some restored Japanese buildings. 
and they're located pretty close to where I live, actually. So it's kind of convenient for me to go up there and look around some more. Have you seen them yet, Tom? I believe they're talking about the structures that are just off Jinshan South Road. And、uh, yes, I've been past there several times. In fact,、uh, of course, those buildings are actually very close to our recording studio. They're probably only about a five or ten minute walk away from here. And I used to go to a coffee shop over on Losafulu or、uh-huh. Lo- Roosevelt Road、yeah. uh, to get coffee. So I'd go past those buildings. Uh, the ones I think they're talking about, and they were in ruins before. They were just all fallen apart and decrepit and dilapidated, but they've、uh, spent some time working on them, and they are back to perfect condition. Of course, they're not exactly the same they were before because they were pretty, pretty much in sad shape before. So to me, they're basically whole new buildings, but still parts of the original buildings are still there. Well, right here, where our studio is located in this neighborhood, they've also rebuilt some very old-style Japanese buildings. I just love them. I love the style. It's very.、Um Uh, it, it feels very natural. They use lots of wood, and there's lots of green. So let's go and get into this, guys. As you're wandering around the lively Dongmen MRT station neighborhood, if you're in Taipei City, that is, you may stumble upon a cluster of old-fashioned Japanese-style buildings. A cluster of something is a group. And we use this to、um, talk about certain things, like a gr- a bunch of grapes, a cluster of grapes, a cluster of flowers, a cluster of bombs. That's not positive. We don't、mm. we don't like bombs. But yeah, a cluster of grapes. It's just a group of similar objects that are、uh, growing closely together or that are grouped closely together. You can also have a neighborhood that has a cluster of antique stores or a cluster of coffee shops. You can use it that way too. Indeed, and of course we've got star clusters in the sky. If you're into astronomy,、mm-hmm. uh, like uh, the Pleiades cluster. Which is a group of stars、uh, near Taurus, I believe, and of course they are the basis of the、uh, of the logo for Subaru. If you've seen Subaru cars, it looks like there are seven stars there. Well, that's from the Pleiades cluster, but that's astronomy. We're not really talking about that today. We're talking about a cluster of old-fashioned Japanese-style buildings. If you walk out of the Dongmen MRT station,、uh, I think you have to walk quite a distance there, or I guess it depends on the exit you get out. I don't really uh, take that uh, the the tr- Train there that often, so I'm not quite sure where the entrances and the exits are. Uh, I, uh, Taipei, uh, the Taipei MRT has some excellent maps. Just check the maps out, and you'll find where this place is, and you'll be able to get there lickety split really quickly. And with their wooden frames, red brick walls, and peaceful gardens, they paint a beautiful scene and create a vivid contrast with their concrete neighbors. So this sentence basically describes these Japanese houses. They've got wooden frames.、Uh, the frame is just the part of the house that、uh, keeps it all together. If you're seeing a building under construction, they put the frame up first. The frame with all the iron girders, the steel girders, and then they cover it with other materials. But、uh, you can see the wooden frames here. They've also got red brick walls, walls made from red bricks, and they've also got peaceful gardens in front of them and probably in back of them as well. And they paint a beautiful scene and create a vivid contrast、uh, with their concrete neighbors.、So、of course,、uh, in Taipei, we've got lots of concrete buildings. They're very efficient. They're very practical, but they may not necessarily be very attractive looking. So there is a contrast between these. Nice, peaceful-looking houses with these、uh, just basic apartment buildings. Right. So, what is concrete? It's that substance that they use to build buildings with.、Um, it's a mixture of things like cement and sand and small stones,、uh, and then they will mix it together, put it down, and it takes a little while to dry, and then it's just really hard, and you can't.、Uh, Can't make any、uh, shapes or anything in it.、Uh, we put a sidewalk in the backyard of my parents' home when I was a kid, and of course, all the kids, we wrote our names in the cement before it dried、uh, to 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 say, "Hey, we were there." Well, yeah, they're very different looking than these concrete、uh, buildings that are never attractive, but、uh, they can keep out the heat and the cold, and they're probably good in. Typhoon weather, you know, we have typhoons here in Taiwan. Also, 
earthquakes,、mm. and sometimes those wooden framed houses,、uh, they're not quite as sturdy. But it looks like they've、uh, rebuilt them. They look pretty、uh, tough now. They need to、uh, because we still have earthquakes and typhoons. But they are a big contrast. So they look very different if you look at them together. Contrast just means big differences between things that you can vividly see or see very clearly. Now this place is easily accessible from the station, which means it doesn't take too much work or time to get there.、Um, I'm like Tom. I'm not at the Dongmen MRT station very often, hardly at all,、uh, because if I'm that close to my house, I'll walk、mm. uh, because it's good exercise. But these buildings are a hidden treasure for history lovers and casual visitors alike. Uh, exactly. So yes, indeed. If you go to Dongmen MRT station, just check the map, and you'll probably be able to find out where these buildings are. I did also want to say that in addition to the buildings that we're talking about,、yeah. there are various other Japanese-style houses、uh, spread throughout this neighborhood.、Oh, okay,、yeah. they're all over the place.、Uh, if you go walking, you'll find some that have not been restored, that are still kind of crumbled and worn down. But that might be interesting to see as well.、You、yeah, there's some- there's still Those buildings along Huping, where we are.、Yeah. Um, if I walk home, I see some older Japanese-style homes that are just crumbling. Uh, exactly. So yes, indeed. If you're into that sort of thing, there's probably some、uh, information available online to tell you where all those structures are, not just in Taipei but the rest of Taiwan as well. And yes, indeed, it's a hidden treasure for people who love history or for just casual visitors. If you're looking for something to do, something to take pictures of, or some place to have in the background when you take a selfie. Okay, we'll continue talking about these Japanese-style houses in just a second. But right now, we're going to take a break and. Listen Listen to our Chinese teacher. Takeho, hello everyone. 我是派老师。今天讲解的是十二月十八号 Unit Ten, Taipei's Hidden Gems, Restored Japanese Buildings. 这一篇是篇章结构的练习题，介绍的是位于台北金山南路附近的一个文化景点。这个地带在日治时期曾经有日本监狱，也有旧称叫做台北刑务所官舍的日式旧建筑。经过整修，如果各位有机会来访，或者你就有机会呢，能够感受到历史幽情，还有呢异国风味，不必搭飞机远道到日本去哦。好，那我们一起来解题吧。在正式解题之前。我还是要跟大家强调，答题的时候要先看一下四个选项，在心里面留下一个印象，哪些句子可以让文章变得完整，甚至于粗略的把这四个选项排序一下。有些选项句子本身就有线索了，我们大概会知道说这是放在文章前中后哪个位置。此外啊，篇章结构最重要的就是回填的句子要和前后文连贯。在文艺概念上要承先启后，所以请大家务必记得前后连贯、文艺通顺这八字真言。We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back, guys. We're talking about Taipei's hidden gems, restored Japanese buildings, and how beautiful they are. It's part of our history here in Taiwan as well. So, I always support efforts to、uh, keep our history and not tear things down. It's good to learn from the past, and also,、um, a lot of those buildings were built by people, and we. Uh, Want to you know honor their their hard work and their service. So、uh, we're going to be wandering around an area that's closer to Dongmen MRT Station, and it's that area that you might stumble or come across some、uh, old-fashioned Japanese buildings. They have wooden frames, red brick walls, which I love, and peaceful gardens.、Uh, they love their gardens in Japan. They still do, and these paint a beautiful scene and create. A vivid contrast. It's very different from the buildings around them, which are made out of concrete, and they're easily accessible from the station. It doesn't take much to get there. 
if you take that station, get out at one of the exits.、Um, I would do as Tom suggested. I would look at the maps、uh, on the wall in the MRT and see which exit is closest to where you're trying to head to. But these buildings are a hidden treasure for history lovers and people who are just casually visiting and want to see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. And these elegant structures highlight Taiwan's rich and layered past. So they highlight, they let us see it, they emphasize the fact that Taiwan、uh, had a lot of history in the past. It was、uh, ruled by Japan for 50 years, and they left behind a legacy and constructed during the Japanese colonial period between 1895 and 1945. They initially functioned as residences for personnel of the nearby Taipei Prison. So yes, they were built during the Japanese colonial period, which is a period of Taiwan's history between 1895 and 1945. And at the beginning, they functioned or were used as residences or homes for personnel of the nearby Taipei Prison. So personnel just refers to the group of people who work in a particular company or for a particular government agency. So of course,、uh, personnel、uh, would also be a department in a company. They handle、uh, the affairs of the employees. It's the personnel department, I guess it's called. And yes, indeed, these are for, for people who worked at the nearby the nearby Taipei Prison, which、uh, might still be standing. I'm not sure. I don't know.、Um, notice here, personnel guys takes a plural verb. So you would say. All personnel、um, are being given a day off tomorrow. So it's people who work for a particular organization or some place of work.、Um, you were saying is a personnel office. You could call it a human resources office.、Mm. I think that's what you're referring to. But personnel, yeah.、Um, I have a lot of personnel that I manage every day. So personnel, yeah. And they used to actually work in that nearby Taipei prison. I didn't know there was a prison so close.、Um, the old Prison, I'm sure. I don't、mm. think it's there anymore. Following the end of World War II, which is 1945, they were transformed into accommodation for government officials, military office officers, and civilians. A civilian is someone who does not work as part of an, a military group or a police officer. Yes, there are regular people as opposed to people in the military. You only use it when you're talking about those two things. And police. And police, yes,、yeah. indeed. So if you get out of the army, someone may ask you, "Well, have you adjusted to civilian life yet?"、Yeah. Oh, it's hard to get used to. I've been in the army so long, I was used to that. And、uh, let's move on now to the next paragraph. Here it、mm. says, "However, the passage of time took its toll. In other words, time passed, and the buildings kind of fell down. And these historic buildings fell prey to neglect and decay. If you fall prey to something, that means you suffer this fate. It happens." Happens to you,、uh, you could fall prey to a bear attacking you in the woods. So be careful. And in this particular case, yeah, they were neglected. They weren't really、uh, paid attention to. They weren't really updated, and they were、uh, victims of decay, which happens with wood in a humid, a humid environment like Taiwan. The、Lots、wood just kind of rain. Kinda, yeah, yeah, the wood just kind of rotted away. Yeah, here we're using decay can be a verb and a noun. Here we're using it as a noun. So, yeah, it's just kind of the rot and、uh, the the ruin of a building.、Uh, we have decay in our teeth.、Mm. That's why we get、um, our teeth. Uh, our teeth filled with、uh, with something.、Uh, we'll say we have cavities. We have that decay in a tooth. It's a cavity.、Uh, so yeah, they fell prey to or became victim victims of neglect. No one was taking care of them and decay. So in response, the Taipei City Department of Cultural Affairs initiated or started this movement called the Old House Cultural Movement Plan in 2013. It's a great idea. So it's a comprehensive or、um, all-inclusive. You know, comprehensive means covers everything. Restoration project, and it's aimed at preserving these sites and boosting repair and reuse efficiency. Restoration is when you、um, take something that is in bad shape and try to restore it or make it look like it did originally.、Uh, maybe you buy old cars.、Um, I had a friend whose dad restored old cars, and he would buy these old, awful、uh, cars that looked terrible and couldn't run. And he would restore them. He would make them like they were new again.
Right, and we're preserving these sites. Those are just locations where something important stands, and we're boosting repair and reuse efficiency. To boost、yeah. just means to improve, and additionally, the result adds a touch of beauty to the urban landscape and provides cultural and creative groups with event spaces. So yes, the urban landscape in Taipei will look better, and of course, these、uh, structures are open. I think some of them are restaurants, and some of them are spaces that you、oh, can、cool. uh, rent out or.、Yeah. Or whatever, if you want to have some kind of event, a meeting, or a party, or whatever. Yeah. So if you ever see that term "event spaces," it means they are available for you to rent out for a special occasion, like a big birthday party or a New Year's、uh, celebration.、Uh, going in, there are a lot of companies that that rent. Event spaces. So today, the restored buildings invite visitors to experience a slice of history. It's like stepping back in time. I'll often use that phrase. Oh, it's like a step back in time while participating or getting involved in various leisure activities. So among these buildings is the fascinating Rongjin. I'm not sure how to say that in Chinese. Gorgeous Time Park. So there's a beautiful park over there.、Uh, that was one. Of, that's one of the first things. I would do is just sit in a beautiful park on a nice, sunny, not rainy day. Does sound very pleasant, and here visitors can immerse themselves in exhibitions that bring the past to life. Sign up for DIY courses that spark creativity,、cool. and indulge in delicious food at the on-site restaurant. So basically, this is a description of all the things you can do there. Yeah.、And、whether you're feasting on authentic Japanese cuisine or sipping relaxing afternoon tea, you're guaranteed a memorable experience. So yes, these are Japanese structures. So they probably have restaurants that serve authentic Japanese food or Japanese cuisine,、mm -hmm. or you could. Enjoy some mocha tea or whatever tea they serve there. It's probably Japanese, but you can get oolong or black tea. I'm sure、uh, there's no problem with that. It will be a memorable experience for you. Yes,、yeah, some of the opportunities there include DIY courses. This sounds fun to me. DIY means do it yourself. And you would learn how to make something on your own or repair things, perhaps in your home,、um, that would be very helpful or useful to you.、Uh, maybe you don't know how to、um, fix electrical wiring in your home. Maybe you would go and take a class about that. Or maybe you want to learn how to decorate cakes or decorate your home. There's so many DIY courses that can spark or start or help your creativity flow. So this sounds like a, a really great area just to hang out, relax in, and also learn some things in your downtime or in your free time. Exactly. Maybe you could learn some Japanese cooking or origami or whatever.、Yeah. So next time you find yourself near Dongmen MRT Station, seize the opportunity to explore these pieces of cultural heritage. And see for yourself how historic preservation meets modern adaptation. So we've got historic preservation, and we've also got modern adaptation. Adaptation is just the action or process of making something、uh, suitable for a certain situation or a certain time. So we're adapting these buildings to new purposes. We're changing them. We're restructuring them. They're no longer residences for civilians or military personnel. They now function. As places that anybody can go to and have fun. Yeah, and our author here is saying that you can take these historical buildings and then combine them or join them with modern adaptation for a new kind of thing. So when something meets something else, it just means those two things are combined for something brand new that's great. This sounds a sounds like a wonderful area. I. Intend to go and look a little bit more closely when I have time, but right now it's time for a Chinese teacher. So let's listen, and then we'll be back to say goodbye. 好，那我们一起看第一题。空格是第二个段落开头的句子。我们先看后面的句子给什么样的提示？从 constructed during 这里开始。这个句子。意思是这些房子是在日治时代建造的。日治时期从一八九五年一直到一九四五年，刚开始的时候是当做台北监狱寓所人员的住所。通常作为段落开头的句子，不会描述细节，大部分都会只给读者非常约略的描述。
。考量到连贯性，既然后面的句子提到这些房舍是日治时期所新建的，一刚开始。等于是御政人员的宿舍，所以前面的句子也必须要和这些日式建筑有关。所以第一题正确的答案就选 B。These elegant structures highlight Taiwan's rich and layered past， 表示这些典雅的建筑凸显了台湾丰富有层次的过往。接着，请看第二题，前文提到。然而，时光的流逝造成了损害。这些具有历史意义的建筑沦为疏于维护和惨遭衰败之下的牺牲品。空格后面的句子则提到，这是一项全面的修复计划，最主要是想要保护这些场所，而且提高修复和再利用的效率。我们可以看得出来，空格里的句子一定要提到建筑修复。后面才会说这是一个全方位的修整修计划，因此第二题选 D， 那表示作为回应，台北市文化局在2013年启动了老房子文化运动计划。后面接着第三题，第四段继续介绍，到了今天，这些经过修复的建筑吸引许许多多的民众来访。体会历史片段，同时也参与各式各样的休闲活动。接着，请同学看到空格之后的句子，在此，访客可以沉浸在重现历史的文化文物展览当中，报名参加激发创造力的首座课程。而且，在园区现场就有的餐厅，可以在餐厅里头品尝美食。不晓得各位同学注意到了没有？第三题有一个解题的关键字，就是空格后面的 here， 意思是在这里。所以前面一个句子应该会介绍一个特定的场所。所以第三题选 A。Among these buildings is the fascinating Rongjing Gorgeous Time Park。好，意思是在这些建筑当中的，就是引人入胜的荣景时光生活园区。最后，请同学看到第四题，作为这个段落的结尾，空格里面的句子也应该跟整个段落大意相关。围绕在到访这个日式建筑区，可以从事哪些休闲活动？所以第四题选 C。Whether you are feasting on authentic Japanese cuisine or sipping relaxing afternoon tea, you are guaranteed a memorable experience. 无论你是享用正宗的日本料理，还是啜饮轻松的下午茶，都一定会获得难忘的经验。好了，以上就是我们对这篇篇章结构练习题的讲解。希望同学透过练习，会更加熟悉答题技巧。我们下次见喽，拜拜。That's it for today, everybody. Thanks for joining us, and indeed, check out those Japanese buildings as they're being restored, not only in Taipei but probably in the rest of Taiwan as well. From all of us here at English Digest, I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie. Goodbye. Bye.